Hello, I'd like to add another installment to the shopping cart exercise. And uh, so far we've got our cart. It displays all the items here and uh, it shows the cart total. And I was realizing, you know, we have a function to count the total number of items in the cart. And we haven't really tested that out yet. So, and, and we haven't even used it yet. So why don't, why don't we do that here? Because that's a pretty common thing to see, you know, at the top of the page, you might see a a little badge or something that says, you know, you have six items in your cart. Okay. So why don't we make a, a div here that'll display a you know, message, you know, you have X items in your cart, and then below it'll show the total, okay? So if you recall, we have a function for this already. I think it's called um, clear cart. I think it's called count cart, right? And this uh, this function, um, you know, it defines a variable called total count, and then it loops through all the items in the cart, and um, and totals their count. And I see an error here. You'll notice that this um, is missing in front of this cart variable, and that's because we didn't we didn't test this function, and so we caught. We caught that everywhere else, but in this spot, we've, we've missed it, right? I'm going to leave that off, and then we'll, the first test through it won't work, and so we'll solve it by looking at the console, right? So just know that this isn't going to work the first time for me. Maybe you caught that already, and if you did, good for you. And uh, so let's give it a try. So we got count cart, and what we're going to do is I'm going to scroll up to the top here to my HTML, and this is the area where the cart displays, okay? And, uh, you know, there's some HTML here where we're going to display a list of items in the cart. And then this shows the total price for the cart. So why, why don't we add another div here? And we'll say, you know, you have... And then we'll use the span trick to display the number of items that you have in the cart here. And we'll say, you know, you have, you know, X you know, items in your cart, okay? So there's our, there's our message. And then maybe the span, it might be nice to give this an ID because we're going to work with, uh, with, work with it with JavaScript. So let's do, um, uh, count cart. I'm kind of worried I used that one already. Let's copy that and uh, find it. Oh, I guess that's the only place I've used that. So great, I haven't, you know, ID names need to be unique. You can't use them more than once. So we have to be careful when we name these, right? So here we are, we've got this guy and this looks, this looks pretty good. So what we'll do now is we'll scroll down to this display cart function. And this function, you know, it gets the array of items in the cart and then it displays them here, right? And then it displays the total for the shopping cart here. And then why not in between, why don't we say count dash cart here? And then we'll say, you know, set the inner HTML to shopping cart dot count cart, right? So we'll call the count cart method and it'll return the number of items in the cart, hopefully, and then we'll, we'll see it in, the, in our page, right? So let's save that, and then we'll go back to the, uh, to the browser here and refresh it. At any moment now, oh, there we go. And then it says, you know, uncaught reference error cart is not defined. So, hmm, what's going on? And then it still says X here, where that X should have been replaced with the number. And then... Looking at the error here, we'll see that it says, you know, index1.html line 151. So let's go take a look at line 151. And, you know, it, it's right here. And we'll examine this closely and realize that, you know, it said cart is not defined, right? So there's something wrong with this variable and we'll have to figure it out. And, I'm already realizing that we forgot to put in the uh, the this right because cart now belongs to our you know parent object which is shopping cart. So let's save that and give it a second try. 
oh look, you have four items in the cart. So there's one, two, three, four. So that's pretty accurate. Let's add another item. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So why don't we save that and we'll call that a wrap for, for this session. It'll be short. And then I think what we're gonna do is, and this is what I've been thinking about doing, is I, I like this um, display cart function here. This is kind of nice every time our page wants to update the cart and display it. But the problem is this, this is like a little bit complicated and I feel like, I feel like we could turn the HTML that is output to display the cart into sort of a standard thing. You know, maybe we could think of what everybody would display and then, you know, the world using our cart system could, you know, modify it with CSS. So the cart will always display the same things. Might be a little more limiting that way, but um, maybe our function could return sort of a standard list format for the cart. Right, and then it could also turn the return the array so that you know you could customize it, but then maybe it would return a standard you know UL with some li tags inside, and then you know we could do away with this whole block of code or embed this into the cart, right? And that might make this whole section a little bit cleaner and easier to work with, right? So maybe that'll be the next session. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful to someone, and uh, thanks again.